it's another symptom of the cleonic ego that they think, well, I, obviously, I'm the best one. Obviously, I'm the one who's stronger than the rest. All those other clone chumps can, um, can go to the back of the line. I really enjoyed season two of Foundation, and I am super excited to talk with, it, uh, with you about it. First off, I'm curious where Brother Day is playing into the dynamic of this new season of, uh, of turmoil for the Cleons and, and how these differences that we now know about are going to show themselves. I think he uh, loves it. I think he's the main, um, main one causing trouble when it comes to the, the kind of uh, cycle of Cleons. The, um, the, what, what is the word? The imperishable permanence of the dynasty as it was. I think he he sees himself very much as an individual and he's claiming his right to write his own destiny. Um, he's going to end the genetic dynasty and turn over the empire to the, um, to the empresses who had ruled before the genetic dynasty. Um, and, I, and I find that, that disruptor mentality compelling interesting i think that it's the it's a it's another symptom of the cleonic ego that they think well i obviously i'm the best one obviously i'm the one who's stronger than the rest all those other clone chumps can um can go to the back of the line because i'm um i'm here and i'm going to change things um which is uh where a little bit of our conflict <laughs> comes in <laughs> a little bit <laughs> yeah i was about to ask about that now laura obviously people have a lot of questions about where demerzel plays into this especially after that season one finale uh how is she going to play into this conflict and are we going to find out where her loyalties actually lie well yes we are we do learn uh, about her um her mission of what is like her like in her backstory her programming and the, the laws that she works under for but i think that uh, season one finale kind of the 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 fight between these two characters and they're like who gets to say the last word who's actually controlling whom and who knows how to hurt the other one worse like that is such a interesting base for the the relationship for a nucleon obviously it's an it's a new man but for her they're the, all the same they're the continuation of cleon the first so she remembers every one of them and they all originate from one man and from one man's mind so kind of like that starting from there and what i love about her is that the kind of the silent power that they the the ego in the palace like the men have an immense ego it's but her power is very silent and very dangerous i think because it's so held back and it's kind of like very invisible but very smart at the same time so kind of like the this dynamic between these two characters is just endlessly fun to play with mm -hmm. for us as, as an actors and kind of like just it is, yeah. Surprise is. each other. and because like, every scene kind of reveals a different kind of layer to what what, what is going on between them. Um, and also, I think even the characters, they kind of like believe every now and then that maybe we are equal, but maybe there's a possibility of us ruling together. And then you kind of go like, oh, no, but what? No, 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 no wait, you're wait, my wait. robot. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is a fascinating dynamic to watch. It really makes season two. So I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with me about it briefly today.